So I'm Kevin, and this is YQ. Why the honey badger? Specifically, this was a question that I was just asked yesterday. Honey badger versus the ghetto blaster from Nevesky. The ghetto blaster and Nevesky, they're great. The gun is great. The company is great. There are differences in the guns. The honey badger, it's lighter weight. It's a pound lighter, 20 to 25% lighter than the ghetto blaster. Maybe that doesn't matter to some people. I understand that. So maybe it does matter to a lot of people. It mattered to us. That's why we went to the effort to make the gun lightweight. I think a big advantage with the Honey Badger, one in five twist. The Nevesky uses a one in seven. One in seven is what we started with years ago when we did 300 Blackout at Advanced Armament. We've gone to one in five because you get more rotational energy, you get better accuracy with subsonic. The Honey Badger uses a very lightweight adjustable gas block. Why is this important? Well, it's important because we're trying to do subsonic ammo and some of the weak stuff that's imported all the way to some of the high impulse, high velocity supersonic ammo. So that's a wide window of operation. So having the adjustable gas block, you can tune it to whatever ammo you want to run in your gun. Taper muzzle. We all know how we feel about that. It's the greatest thing in firearms history. All right. You have a tapered muzzle, it does several things for you. You get alignment of your muzzle device. So if that's a silencer, muzzle brake, flash hider, that's great. You can also, you don't have to rely on rock set. You torque the thing on, it stays tight forever. So you, direct thread silencers, you can use those. You don't have to have all the QD stuff. So direct thread silencers, it doesn't come loose in full auto, it's lightweight. It's not like the dead air chemo to where it weighs 10 ounces and it's big and heavy and adds the weight into your gun. You don't want to use it as much. Tapered muzzle is the way to go. Everybody should do it. The Ghetto Blaster, they're still using a 90 degree shoulder. I wish they would go to a tapered muzzle. It'd improve it. It'd improve everybody's gun. You see HK has gone to it. We did it at SIG. We did it on the original Honey Badger at Advanced Armament. We're trying to make the lightest weight gun possible. Why is the Honey Badger expensive? You know, magic ain't cheap. The Honey Badger looks like an AR-15. There are so few parts on it that are stock off the shelf parts. Some of the springs, some of the pins, and that's about it. Everything else is proprietary. We don't produce 100,000 of the Honey Badger guns a year, so they're more expensive. But thought went into every part of the gun. That's how we took a pound out of the gun. It's not one component. We're not skeletonizing the receiver. We're not doing a lightweight bolt carrier. We're not doing those things. We take weight out of every part of the gun to give you the lightest weight package possible that's not compromising integrity of any of the components. So if you're looking for a compact AR, Nevesky is a great company. The Ghetto Blaster is a great product. I think what we did with the Honey Badger was took it to the next level. And that's why.